Me and AJ here. What's up? Uh, we are working on his new CRV. He recently bought this, and there's a few things that he needed to do. Just like every used vehicle that you buy, you always got some stuff you got to do. Don't buy a used vehicle expecting to not have to put anything into it. Yeah, if somebody tells you they replaced it, go ahead and replace it yourself because they actually didn't. Double check it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're well, basically replacing the control arms here today. So, actually, we've already <laughs> done the job, but I just want to show you what we're doing. And there it is. And AJ is going to go through everything, and so let's jump to it real quick. All right, so we're going to be taking this loader control arm off. So there are uh, a total of four bolts you're going to have to take loose. There's this one right here, which is a 19. You got this one over here, which is also a 19. And you have the one on the bottom, which is a 17. But you also have to remove this bolt right here for the sway bar link to take that off. That one's a 15. So we're going to start with go ahead and taking off this, uh, this sway bar link. All right, so take this off. It's spinning on the back. So I got a 14 right here. I'm going to put the 14 on it to hold the bolt in place so I can take the nut off. All right, that one's loose. Yep. All right, I always like to put my nuts and bolts back where they came. So one, I don't lose them, and one and two, I don't forget where they went. All right. The next, we're going to be removing this bottom one. It's got a carter pin in here I gotta take out. There it goes. Yep. So look at that. Yep. Take a look at that. It's kind of a weird looking one. Mm -hmm. Set that aside because you know that's going to be kind of hard to replace. Yeah. All right. So we got that off. Now I have a feeling that's not going to work. Yep. So I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. All right. So I'm going to use a breaker bar on this one. Because you know, you saw the impact won't fit, and it turn it comes loose real easy. Yeah, most bolts do that have Carter pins in them. All right, so that one's loose. All right, so I got the tool in there. About as good as it's probably going to go. I want to see if I can separate them. So what we ended up having to do, instead of putting it around it like that, because this thing isn't quite thick enough really, what we did is put it right there and just hammered the ever living crap out of it until yep. it came loose. So now we got to remove this bolt and this bolt and it should slide right out. Super easy. I suspect that one over there might be a little bit more challenging. Impacts make world make the world <laughs> a lot nicer. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah. Okay. Man, that seemed really easy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I, I maybe put three or four pounds of pressure on it. Mm. All right, so we got this bolt loose. We'll pull it out. That you didn't know a hammer, a uh, uh, claw hammer could be used for car work. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, so we're gonna take a look at these bushings. You can see how that one's torn right there. And you can see the kind of little line right there on that side of this one. 
back of it's just as bad. Yeah. See the other ones. That one looks fairly decent. The other ones don't look bad. Take uh, something like that extension that I, we have, that my, my, my long extension. Yeah, the, for the big one, yeah. Use that to drive it, drive it up in there from like right there, yeah. Yeah. So you just wanna basically get it up in there because it's such a weird angle. And I'm sure there's a probably a more professional way of going about doing this, but uh, we're not professionals. All right now, so we got this one uh, all bolted in. Uh, didn't bother filming that because, I mean, you know how to put a bolt in. We know you didn't want to see that. So next we gotta do this one right here. All right, so uh, I just hit that with the impact and it's all uh, it's all tight. So now we gotta put this one on. This was the, uh, the 17. So we were having issues because it just kept wanting to spin. Is it still spinning? Uh, no. Okay, not. Cool. So what we were having issues was is that it wasn't that the lower ball joint shaft was actually spinning and we weren't actually able to get it tight because it didn't have any tension. So what we did was we raised that lower control arm up. That way it's hitting that flared piece of metal and it's going ahead and creating tension and allowing us to tighten up that lower nut. Now if you have an impact that can get down there, that's obviously going to be the ideal way to go about it. But Just, don't over tighten it. Yeah, but don't over tighten it. Because it's not meant to be real tight. So if you have not like a, a half inch impact, but if you have like a quarter inch impact drill, that would probably do what you need to do. Or you do like what we're doing here and just jack up the lower control arm until it's making contact and not spinning anymore. Here we go, guys. Let me get Actually, it. that flashlight was nice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I, th I thought yeah. about that as I turned it off. I was like, well, I probably like that. All right, so it looks like this thing just pushes on. So let's see if it does. Put it in the hole and line it up correctly. That is. Yep. Oh, yeah. That is a lot easier cotter pin than the traditional. Yeah, for real. I like what you do, Honda. All right, last but not least, the sway bar link. Sway bar link. All right, so last step is sway bar link. I mean, obviously, if you were able to get the lower control arm off, you're just going to do everything in reverse, except for the issue of getting those, uh, you know, the, the bolts that go through the frame. You're going to have some tweaking that you got to do there, so don't expect it to just go right in. Okay, so as you can see, everything is done. AJ did a bang up job. <laughs> okay, everybody. So you saw how it is. It's extremely easy. Very easy job. So, if you've ever worked on cars before, it's not it's not hard. You can do it. Yeah, it is. Like I mean, uh, we we just got it done. So we ain't we ain't professionals. And so if we can do it, you could probably do it too. I don't want to say you can. But you probably could do it. So, but thank you guys for clicking on that video and. We'll catch you on the next one. See you guys later.